Hello everyone, in this video we will be looking at addition of two numbers but with user input. In my previous video we have seen simple addition of two numbers where inputs are already provided but now we will take inputs from the user. Now before we proceed we will see some theoretical part. In Java there is one class, scanner class. This class helps us to take input from the user this class helps us to take input from the user now this class already present in java's library so if i want to use this class where in my program then i need to import it so in my program before i start i will write the line import java dot util dot scanner this is the address of scanner class in Java's library. There are different different packages. What is package? Let's look at it. Packages are collection of classes, collection of classes in Java, right? Collection of classes is called what? Packages. Now, util is one package, Java is also one package. So, scanner class is present inside util package fine so we have to write the program import java.util.scanner now there will be addition of one more line in our program we used to write a whole program like this class then public static void main now what will we do we will write one more line scanner s is equal to new scanner system dot in so how will I read? S is an object of class scanner. S is an object of class scanner. Now, using this object, we can use different methods available inside scanner class. Now, what are the methods available in the scanner class? Let's look at it. Methods available inside the scanner class. Now, what are the methods available in the scanner class? Next, int to take integer next double to take double from the user double means real value 13.6 11.6 with decimals we can say next float to take float value float and double are same when we will see data type you can come to know these are the different data types available in java integer double float next is to take one word from the user, it takes only a word, one word, Anit, Aniket, Anuj, Amit, like that, okay, only a word. Next is next line. This helps us to write whole line or whole sentence. For example, if I want to enter student's address, then I will use what? Next line, okay. Next is next dot care at zero we will not go into the detail this is used to take character from the user now very important to note down is these are the methods available in scanner class in this program we will use only one method today that is next int to take integers from the user and generate the result okay so let's proceed See, these are explanation lines. These are not the part of program. So, I will comment it. Comment means compiler will ignore it. Compiler will ignore. Okay. So, let's proceed. Now, when I look at my program, what's happening? It is import line to import the scanner class in my current program. From where am I importing? From the library. Next is class name add public static void main then i wrote scanner s is equal to new scanner system dot in s is an object of scanner class you can write here amit aniket anuj whatever you want but in my all all program i'll be using s please remember we will use something that is fixed for each of our programs please don't use names because it creates confusion so we will either use S or SC. In some textbooks, they use SC. Okay. I'll be using scanner S. Right. Now, as we discussed in the previous program, we have to declare three variables in A, B, C. Why am I declaring these? 
to take integers from the user. Now remember, let's uh, recall our steps of writing program. What are the steps? First, think about how many or what we can say, what are my inputs, what will be the process and what will be the output. Now, what is the input here? We will enter two numbers. What is the operation? Addition will be performed. And what's the result? We have to print the addition answer. Okay. So now I will print the message system dot out dot print ln enter two numbers enter two numbers semicolon now in our previous program we have directly written a is equal to 13 b is equal to 11 so what was happening c is equal to a plus b i agree semicolon is missing i'm writing so in our previous program what we did we simply gave the value and addition happened and every time when I executed the program same result I was getting but now what, what will I do I will declare what will I declare I will write here a is equal to s dot next int instead of Instead of writing directly the value, I am using the object of scanner s. So I will write s. And what was the method to take integer? Next int. Again, b is equal to s dot next int. Now see, some students, what they do, they by mistake write here c is equal to s dot next, next int. Guys, this is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because I don't want to take value of C. I just need two numbers and I'll add them. A, B, A plus B. So what will happen? Addition will be calculated and result will be stored in the variable C. Done. Now I will print the result. System dot out dot print ln addition of two numbers is. This is the message or you can simply say addition is. And then contact it with C. So addition is C here. C is equal to A plus B system dot out dot print ln and I'll write addition is C. Done. Let's run this. We will save it. We have already commented the things which are not the part of program and now I will run it. Add dot. Acha. I have not saved it in. Uh, just a minute. I have saved it with demo only. No problem. Let's run. Java C demo dot Java. This is the file name. Class name is different. We will run Java add. Okay. See what it is doing guys. It is asking me for two numbers. I'll write 11 and 12. The addition is 23. See now this program became dynamic. Okay. Again, if I run, it will ask me two numbers. I'll write 23 and minus 11. Yes, we can enter negative numbers as well. The addition is 12. Clear? So this is the way we can take input from the user. You have to remember three changes. Number one, we have to write in our prototype import line. Now onwards, all of our program will be with import line. Okay. Import java.util.scanner. Then class add. Then scanner, int abc, enter two numbers. We have to write the message, enter two numbers. Then we will take two numbers, s dot next int, a is equal to, okay? Why? Because this will take input from the keyboard and result or the value will be stored in the variable a. Again, s dot next int value will be taken and it will be stored in the variable b. Then c is equal to a plus b. And I'll be printing system dot out dot print ln. Addition is c. Done. So now you can make subtraction, multiplication, division, whatever you want, and all of program in one, all of these operations we can perform in one program as well. Thank you.